Today, my message is a good message before we go into the new year. It is check yourself. To go through you and, and check all the levels to make sure that they're safe. Now, here's what I mean. We have automobiles checked often during the year, make sure that the oil is changed, the engines tuned properly, new parts are put in when necessary to keep the car in good condition, or it will break down when we least expect it and be quite expensive. How strange that we should treat our automobiles better than ourselves. Often we do not check ourselves. Now, I'm not talking about going to the doctor. I'm talking about mentally and spiritually doing a checkup and doing a checkup from the neck up to make sure that our thinking is in right order. A change of pace, releasing pressures, checking attitudes, checking feelings, seeking help if necessary, they're all a part of keeping ourselves in good condition. And you want to be in good repair when you go into a new God-given opportunity, such as 2012. You also check yourself that you're not pushing yourself beyond your endurance. Expensive repairs are sometimes necessary, but they're not inevitable. So today, I ask you to do a checkup on yourself. If things aren't working, one of the biggest blessings in life is to realize they're not working and to make a resolution to do something about it and to keep that resolution. If things are not working and we don't know what in the world to do, where to go for an answer, we go to God and we ask. And the answer comes. The healing comes. The complete change in our attitude, in our thinking, in our feeling comes. So if you need to do a checkup in any area, do it. Don't wait. Begin to work on those things that aren't working spiritually and become a new person a whole new person, a happier person, more energy-filled person, a person that really is ready to seize opportunity in this God-given gift. You know, I've been with many people over the years that were making their passing on their deathbed, and they always would value the gift of another day another chance to see their relatives, another chance to, to say things that they wanted to say. For most people, though, we don't have a short period of time. We have a whole year. And to realize that incredible gift and not go through it in a sleepy way, but to go through it in proper tune, all tuned up, ready to go, ready to drive through our experience in the most exhilarating way. I pray this for you, my friend. Happy New Year.